the Sikorsky S-72 emerged from decades of compound rotorcraft experimentation, representing one of aviation's most ambitious attempts to merge helicopter versatility with fixed-wing aircraft performance. This experimental machine pushed technological boundaries while serving as a critical testbed for revolutionary flight concepts. Sikorsky's journey toward the S-72 began in 1964 with the S-61F project, where engineers transformed an SH-3A Sea King by adding dual Pratt & Whitney J60P2 engines and drag-reducing modifications. The S61F achieved 255 miles per hour during 113 test flights between 1965 to 1967, proving compound rotorcraft viability. Concurrent development of the S66 introduced the innovative rotor prop concept, a tail rotor that swiveled 90 degrees to function as a pusher propeller. The S69 ABC advancing blade concept program followed in 1972, testing contra-rotating coaxial rotors that eliminated torque requirements. This aircraft reached 303 miles per hour in 1979, becoming the first rotorcraft to achieve such speeds. In January 1974, Sikorsky won the NASA and Army Rotor Systems Research Aircraft contract, defeating Bell's competing proposals. The resulting S-72 measured 70 feet 7 inches long, weighed 14,490 pounds empty, and incorporated proven components from earlier experiments, including five bladed rotors from the S61F. The aircraft's unique design featured 470 square foot wings, adjustable from minus 9 degrees to 15 degrees mid flight, two General Electric TF 34 GE 400A turbofans, and revolutionary safety systems. The Aviation Yankee extraction system represented the first ejection seats in rotorcraft history. Explosive charges would sever rotor blades before catapult rockets extracted crew members upward. First hovering on October 12, 1976, the S-72 demonstrated unprecedented flexibility, operating as pure helicopter, compound helicopter, or fixed-wing aircraft. The program tested numerous rotor configurations, including composite bearingless, variable geometry, and circulation control systems using specially designed balance measurements to gather lift and torque data. The program's pinnacle came in 1984 when NASA and DARPA contracted Sikorsky to develop the X-Wing concept, a four-blade rotor system that could stop mid-flight to become fixed X-shaped wings. This breakthrough technology used compressed air expelled from blade edges to create virtual wing surfaces, controlled by computerized valves that adjusted airflow as rotors rotated. The redesignated S-72X achieved 301 miles per hour during fixed-wing flight testing at Dryden Flight Research Center on December 2, 1987. Despite demonstrating remarkable capabilities suitable for air-to-air -air combat, electronic warfare, and search and rescue operations, technological complexity and cost considerations forced program cancellation in 1988. The S-72's influence extends far beyond its operational lifespan. Its innovations in compound rotorcraft design, safety systems, and rotor technology laid groundwork for modern developments. Sikorsky's 2005 announcement of the ABC Enhanced X2 program directly traced lineage to S-72 research, demonstrating the enduring value of this experimental platform. The S-72 proved that rotorcraft could achieve fixed-wing speeds while maintaining helicopter versatility, establishing principles that continue influencing advanced rotorcraft development today. Though never reaching production, its technological achievements validated concepts that remain relevant in contemporary aviation engineering.